The disciple the one Jesus loved also went inside. From John chapter 20, verse 8. How humble and gentle was the love between a teacher and his disciple. For several years, Jesus was teaching his followers how to love each other. But only a few of them seemed to understand the lessons and pass the test. These special ones were Mary Magdalene, John, and Peter. Different people and different characters. Nonetheless, they did love Jesus. They were sharing their tears when they loved their beloved teacher and friend. Obviously, they were in love with Jesus. Their stories were different and similar at the same time. Three of them experienced dark nights in their lives. They were paralyzed by fear and shame, but their heart kept telling them to look for Jesus. And they always returned to him, although they were sinners as all human beings, their love towards Christ was extraordinary. I ask myself, what kind of love do I have toward Jesus Christ? Do I come back to him when I fall down? Is he always on my mind and in my soul? Is he really my beloved one? There were several dark moments in my life. Probably the darkest ones were when I fell in sins. But also the most beautiful moment happened when I returned to Jesus. In the Catholic Church, we have the sacrament of reconciliation. As a priest, I very often serve others with this sacrament. But I also often need to confess my sins. It is always a great relief to come back to Jesus and embrace him, especially when I feel sinful and dirty, when I would like to weep because I do experience my weakness. And this difficult and painful moment of my life gives me chance to start again with Jesus. When I go to Jesus, I keep tears of shame and sadness. When I come back, tears of joy and love appear in my eyes. I am so grateful for the example of the beloved disciple of Jesus. Yes, it is true. I sometimes do escape and then feel lonely as it was in the case of John the Apostle. Nonetheless, I also want to go inside and meet with Jesus who is alive. I do need to talk with him deep in my soul. I do desire to embrace him as my beloved one. I have to say sorry for my mistakes, wrong decisions and sins. Eventually, deep in the grave of my soul, I do experience my resurrection. There I can live with my Lord and feel blessed. Now, no one remembers my bad action and wrong deed. The only thing which matters is my sincere love for Jesus. It means a lot. I feel accepted, forgiven, embraced by Him. Thank you, Mary Magdalene. John and Peter, that you showed me how to love Jesus with the whole heart, soul, and mind. 
I do like to follow you and be the one Jesus loves either. Amen.